Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever tried to accomplish something good by doing something bad? You know, where you told yourself the lie that the ends justify the means? Uh, you know, we, we convince ourselves that sometimes it's okay to do wrong because we think it's going to accomplish something good. Uh, here at Calvary, we, we kind of confront that by saying that you can't represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. Uh, not your character, but his character. So uh, you really can't accomplish God's will by disobeying God. That, that's the point. And yet, uh, in the story this morning, uh, that's what Moses tries to do. So just to uh, catch you up, in case you uh, uh, didn't remember, uh, Moses uh, survived the infanticide of Pharaoh. He was raised in Pharaoh's house. Uh, he became a prince and a leader of Egypt. And one day in uh, Exodus chapter 2 tells us that Moses went out and he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. And so he defended the Israelite. He killed the Egyptian and then he buried the body. Literally in the sand, he hid the body and thought he got away with it. And thought he was doing something good trying to defend his people. Well, the next day he goes out and he sees two Israelites fighting and he rebukes them. What are you guys doing? You guys are together. And, and one of them says, who made you the prince or judge over us? And then he asked the question that sent Moses' world into a tailspin. Are you going to kill us like you did the Egyptian? At that point, Moses knew that his cover was blown and he was a fugitive because he had broken one of the big laws about, it wasn't even about the murder part. It was probably about how he disposed of the body part. But in, in any case, he knew if Pharaoh found out, he was in trouble. Well, Pharaoh found out Moses was in trouble. Moses did what most of us do when we get in trouble. He ran away. He ran away. He fled to a place called Midian. And, and that's where the next piece of the story picks up. So can I just remind you, if you want to take a journey to freedom, you can't represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. Your journey is going to be about character and about how you lean into that in the little interactions and the big ones day by day because you're not going to be able to serve Jesus while you're being disobedient. So uh, the truth is going to come out. Uh, you may not have to give an account to Pharaoh, but the truth is going to come out. So why don't we live today and every day as the people of God? I hope that helps and God bless.